And it was 10 years ago today that 20 first grade students and six adults were slaughtered by a gunman inside Sandy Hook Elementary School in Connecticut. And on this somber anniversary, we're taking a look back at how Inside Edition covered one of the worst school shootings in American history as it unfolded. We broadcast today from a town shattered, Newtown, Connecticut, a town the entire world holds in its prayers. 27 people are dead, 20 of them children, in one of the worst school shootings in American history. The school is just off to my left here. It is still an active crime scene, and so now parents have been ushered over here to the firehouse to either be reunited with their children or to hear the grim news that their child didn't survive. The first funerals of the victims were held today. Jack was a huge fan of the New York Giants football team. A mourner carried a football helmet into the funeral home in Newtown. Others struggled to contain their grief. Sadness, disbelief etched on the faces of hundreds of mourners. Tribute pages to the little lives lost are sprouting up on Facebook. Rest in peace, little beautiful angel. And the heroes, they gave up their lives to save their students. It was a hero's burial today for one of the teachers at Sandy Hook Elementary, Victoria Soto, who was credited with saving her students even as she was gunned down. The label of hero is no exaggeration when it comes to teacher Victoria Soto. A nation in mourning. There is now a permanent memorial at the site of the school. It features a sycamore tree surrounded by a ring of water and 26 granite stones, each engraved with the names of those killed.